Now the first book is called Getting to Yes. If you don't know Getting to Yes, go get it now. It's cheap. It's paperback. Came out in eight in eighteen ninety one in nineteen eighty one, and it, it's a marvelous book because it tells how to approach any negotiation. It's very generalizable. Essentially, you get people to agree on the the basics and the terms, and wouldn't this be reasonable and fair, and shouldn't we go along? And then you you fight for the best alternative to a negotiated solution, which is always awful. I mean, negotiated is sort of, well, I compromise, you compromise, rather than looking at our interests and, hey, how can we have mutual gain? One of the best things about this book, and something that all authors should learn, is in the back there is an extensive cheat sheet. And if you just come to, what page are we on? Page 189. It is marvelous. It tells you the entire setup. It, it uh, goes over the problem that people come in with positions rather than what are their interests and how can they further them. Uh, we have to separate the people from the problem. We invent options for mutual gain. It's a creative endeavor, not a let's whittle the other guy down sort of thing. We insist on using objective criteria. You get that one agreed on up front and if if you're on the right, well, you've, you've three quarters of the way there. A this this just gets my strongest recommendation. I use the principles in this book. In fact, I sent it to people before a big negotiation, and I talked them through it before we talked about any of our interests in a day-long negotiating session. And the only problem we had was that. Uh, it worked too well. <laughs> we had a joint venture partner and they agreed to things that they really shouldn't have agreed to and they ended up with 3% and in their words 3% sucks. So I shot myself in the foot by using this to create uh, almost an unfair advantage and to go much further than I should have. Nonetheless, wonderful book. Read it. Read those last few pages. You'll get it and you'll find that you're a superior negotiator. Not bad, huh?